Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi. Good, thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Today, let's go to see the probably that will be after generic uh, trees. That would be the last concert we are going to see. It's like um, I, I, I thought about that because usually we, we give that in two different, two separate um, lessons, but we will try to do all together. It's, the, it's like a, a state problem. A state problems is something like, for example, problem of cheese or or this game. You know this game of missionary and cannibals? Okay, now, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is, what is, what is... That's programmed in Prolog. Uh, it's possible, let's go to give, uh, to create a, a Prolog version for this problem. I'm going to tell you what this idea. The idea is, uh, we have three missionary, that will be the, these little angels here, and three cannibals. And we have to take all of them from the uh, right side of the river to the left side of the river. Okay, this is the idea. Take all the people here from right to left, and we have. A... Sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, we have a little boat, and we have a restriction for the for this problem. Is uh, it's not possible to have in any place here or inside the boat. Inside the boat is possible to go only two people. Two people inside the, bo the boat. And it's not possible never to have more cannibals than missionary in any place. Here or here in the left side or the right side. Otherwise, if there are more cannibals than uh, missionaries, the cannibals will eat the missionary. The idea is, um, we have to represent an image of a problem. This is called the state of a problem. The first part, the first part to re resolve this type of problem is, first is try to represent, represent the state. The state will be a picture of the, it will be a picture of the problem or what is the minimum information? What is the minimum information Not like that? What is the minimum information? Minimum information. I need that I need that I need to represent represent one uh, moment or one situation, or one picture, one picture. Oh, the problem. Okay, this is the idea. What is the minimum information we need to represent the state of this problem? In the case, in the case of this problem of, of gallons of water, we will have, for example, one bottle, another bottle, one will be, for example, blah, 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 five gallons, another bottle of, of three gallons, Okay, or less. We have to represent this situation. We have two bottles, one of five, another another bottle of three, and I need to uh, create something like a state, a state, and something inside to represent this problem of the two bottles of water. What do we have to put inside? So we need to describe or to have two variables to describe the situation. So for example, we need uh, um, five or um, 
five uh, gallons bottle let me uh, five gallons bottle example and um, three gallons bottle I think uh, it's not possible to start a variable with number so let's go to co call five oh, sorry g5 and g3 okay g5 and g3 that's represent that means g5 represent the number of gallons gallons in uh, five five gallons bottle and three g3 represent and g3 represents represents the number of gallons in three gallons bottle okay this is the idea i have to we will work with an state in this case with only two these two variables we can represent any a picture of the problem okay do you understand that idea of state yes in the case but the, sorry. But the picture but the picture above number one do we do we need to make this or is it just for demonstration uh, like online 16 15 14 we we have to um with the, the information inside inside the state we yeah but i mean i mean the the picture above uh, the writing like from line 14 to 17 is yeah. that just for demonstration yeah this only yeah it's only an example okay. that at the end we are going to represent that with this state parenthesis and the two variables here okay for example, yeah okay for example one possible initial state will be a state initial state would be zero zero this is our initial or initial state uh -huh. okay and then <coughs> we will do some movements and the state will change for example i can for example to feel fill the after after fill five g5 g file the state will be state five zero okay yes so we we will have movements and states okay well, the state, the first part, the most important part at the beginning is the, the represent the state. In this case, the problem of the gallons, that will be the state. And what, and after that, we have to obtain or, or represent, represent using, using a state definition uh, we need to need to we need to uh, define initial state yeah yeah state define what is the initial state so so in our case of the problem of uh, this graph of, ga of water the our initial state will be state zero comma zero okay this is our yes. initial state okay so perfect we have our initial state now we have to define define movements What is a, what are our possible movements? Four parts will be 
define movements. Well, which which movements what possible possible movements can I do? What possible movements can I do? Uh, in this case, what do you think will be the possible movements for this problem of uh, gallons of uh, water? What do you think will be uh, possible movements I can do? I can, for example, fill fill uh, G5. Let's go to call the G5 and G3. Okay. I can fill G5, I can fill G3, I can drop the content of G5, I can drop the example, and fill and drop, I can put the content of G5 inside G3, or I can put the content of G3 inside G5, no? So let's go to, to describe these movements here. Uh, for example, first movement will be fill G5. Movement 2, fill G3. Number uh, 3, empty. Empty G3 or G5. What more? Give me more movements I can do. Empty G3. Empty G3. What more? Uh, move uh, uh, the content of G3 on G5. Yeah. Uh, put uh, G5 in G3, for example. Give content. See, content in G3. And the next one. The same, but yeah. uh, G3. 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 Content in G5. Okay. That will be something more. You think we can do something more or not? I think it's all. Yeah, it's fill or empty or put one. You know that there are no more m possible movements at the beginning. Okay, let's go to this to, to try to define these movements in Prolog. So first, let's go to to define the first one. Uh, first one is fill G5. Okay. So um, it's movements will have always the same uh, structure, right? Like will have have to have to have the same name. It's move. We will call all movements with the same name. Move. The next part is the name. I'm going to write here movements. I'm going to write here before the definition of movement. Define movements like um, move the name of movement, uh, movement name, and a state before, before the movement, and a state after. This is the this the general uh, scheme scheme for for this um, for this for any movement in this in the, uh, um, problem state. The name have to be the same because we need that because uh, with the, we will use with unification to try to check different movements. The name of the movement we need for to at the end obtain the result because our solution for the problem will be a sequence of movements and a state before the movement and a state after okay so let's go to define this field g5 um, and we we was when we describe this movement we have to try to make as general as general as possible. So we have a, 
as state before, but we don't know exactly what is the state at the beginning. Probably we will know what is the state after, depending of the movement. But we have to imagine we, we will have any possible state at the beginning or state before make this movement. So here we have a name, fill, fill uh, g5. It's important to, to realize that here the name is not is not with start it doesn't start with capital letter this is a like a constant it's only a name it's not a variable here it's only the the name for the movement after that the solution for us the solution will be something like the solution will be something like sorry the solution the solution for this problem will be a sequence, a list of movements. Something like, okay, fill G5, empty uh, or put, put uh, G5, G5 in G3. Um, empty uh, G5, for, for example, blah, 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 and so on. Our solution will be a list of movements to reach the final state. What What is our final state? Sorry, that's another important thing here, initial state and final state. What is our final state? What is our final state? What is our Zero goal? Zero and four? Yeah, or whatever. It's, it's better to put yeah. whatever. Doesn't matter what, what I have in the first yeah. one. I have four here. This is our, our final state because the goal of this uh, problem is obtained. The goal is obtained exactly for, for gallons. Okay, so our final state is it's whatever, doesn't matter what I have here, and four. We always try to, to give the, the situation as general as possible. So in this case, doesn't matter what I have here. Okay, so now, now we know what is the, the, the solution. What is the, we can obtain the solution as a, this list of movements. So for that it's important here to write a constant for the name of this movement. So a state before. What is the state before fill uh, um, garraf uh, five or g five? What is the state before? What do you think? I think it's whatever. Uh, whatever. Yeah. But we, here we need. Let's go to use. Um, for example, whatever where, with whatever here, and for the other variable, well, g3 and g5, no? Or g5 of, of what is the state? The state that g5 and g3, okay. g5 and, and g3. Um, um, whatever here and here. Uh, G3. A variable to have, okay, a variable that can get the total amount of water of G3. And what is the state after the movement? What is the state five. after this movement? 5 and G3. Yeah. Everyone agree with that? Yes. Yes? Yes. It's easy. No, it's not too, too, too complicated. In this case, it feels it's very easy movement. Okay, let's go to create the second movement. Feel number two. Feel G three. The movement. Uh, movement. Feel G three. For example, a state before. 
it's a very similar to the previous one a state after this is a state before the state that's very similar is g5 here whatever here and after the movement we will have uh, the same amount of water in g in g5 and exactly three sorry okay okay next movement next movement let's go i'm going to copy every, every movement here let's go to empty it's very simple you can you can do by yourself um i'm gonna give you this movement please try to do the two next movement by yourself okay i will recognize in five minutes try to i'm gonna give you this file for you i'm gonna send yes yeah, thanks this file and please um resolve the next two movements the empty g3 and empty d5 that very easy and try to start thinking about how to do movement five and move movement six okay please there are two very simple cases and try to think about how to resolve that and that okay i'm gonna give you five minutes approximately or a little bit more and you will reckon it after this time i'm gonna send you these files um okay nice perfect so now you have the file um we'll reckon it in around five minutes more or less okay resolve these two and think about how to resolve or start to resolve these five and six okay can you see my screen yes okay um here this is a solution of gabriela let's go to take a look of uh, the example empty empty number three number three to empty gallon five the name is perfect empty g5 uh, state five uh well it's better here it's better to put instead of put five it's better to put whatever doesn't matter what is the content what is the content of of g5 at the end will be zero and g3 remains exactly the same okay okay yes uh, same here same here instead of uh, put here three it's better to put here oh, doesn't matter whatever um i'm gonna uh, empty g3 whatever is the content of g3 at the end will be zero and g5 remain exactly the same okay next five put if put let's go to put g5 in g3 here we have two different options two possibilities the most simple one is the most simple one is if the content of g3 let's go to, i try to draw here with that now we want to put the content of g5 in g3 we have two options the op the two the first one first option is the content g5 plus g3 are less than three here think about we have here any content i don't know how many gallons we have here and here we will have another content if this content plus this content is less less or equal sorry less or equal than g3 this is the first option what is the f the um and the other option is if g3 plus g uh, g5 sorry g5 plus g3 are great than three what happened in this case 
let's go to take a look of these the two different options okay in the case putting the content here is enough to remains here or the content of both are greater than three let's go to see these two options the first one um, five okay here we have two options first one let's go to create here two different rules one for each for each situation the first one and the second one uh, we can call that like 5.2 if you want and 5.1 5.1 okay so in this case when when uh, g5 and g3 are less or equal than 3 what what will be this result okay here instead of put a 5 let's go to put whatever content a variable g5 and here g3 whatever content what is a, a final state in this situation can you describe to me what what will be the final state when g3 plus g5 are less or equal than 3? Is g5 and g3 plus g5? Uh, g5? Which, which content is g5? The first is g5. Zero? Uh, no. Think a, li a little bit. Think a little bit. Yes, it's zero. If I can put all the content of G5. Uh, yes, 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 it's yes, okay. If the content is zero. No, it's empty. I, I just empty G5 because I can put the, all the content here. And what is the content yes, yes. here? The content is exactly as you say. It's G3, 2 is G5 plus G3. This is the content of uh, G32. Okay? Yes, okay. This is the, the most simple option. The second option. What happens if it's not possible to put all the content here? What, what will be the situation now? What will be the situation now? The situation now will be, okay, I am trying to put the, all the content here, but it's not possible to here the the result the result will be g3 will be full equal to 3 and which content remains in g5 g5 minus g3 uh sorry uh g5 will be um g think about think a little bit about you can extend i think this will be a, a easy way to to try to try to think about you can extend the capacity of of g3 you can extend this capacity okay this is this point of of three gallons and think you can extend it okay um the extension will be the content of G5. So, what is the total amount if I can extend? What is the total amount of if it can extend the content in G3? The total amount will be G3 plus G5, no? And what yes. is the, the part that remains in G5? Zero. No. Minus three. Think about you can extend this content. This bottle of G three is you can put you can put every every the content all the content here. If you can extend the all the content will be for example uh, G three here. G three plus g5 
something about it's possible to put here it's like g3 plus g5 and g3 plus g5 minus 3 is a, this is the side of this bottle is the content here remains here yes or not so the content will be in g5 will be the second situation uh, second situation Second situation will be uh, let's go to blah, 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 blah. in case. Sorry, I need to add here one one more thing. Is in case this case is if G five um, total amount is sorry total amount is g3 plus g5 and and g is less or equal than 3 in this case this is the solution is uh, t is t i can delete that Okay, and here the same t is g3 plus g5, and in case of t is greater than 3, um, we need a new variable as like g5 2 is t minus 3 uh, this is um, blah, blah, blah. here this uh, full content of 3 because the the second bottle will be full and here is g52 do you agree or not Any question? Do you see or not? I can repeat if you, you need. Uh, I can repeat. I don't understand the last part. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Let's go to repeat again. This uh, this situation. I, 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 sometimes it will be a little bit difficult. We have a bottle with a five, and a bottle with three. And we want to put the content of this bottle I don't know how many liters I have here will be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 or or 3.5 whatever I don't know what is the content of this bottle I only know that I, I want to put all the content here here okay and the content here plus the content here the water the, the, the amount of water here both is, uh, is t, we call the t, the total amount is t uh, is g5 plus g3. If t, the total amount is greater than 3, is if you can extend this, this bottle. The total amount is greater than three. That means here remained over the bottle uh, um, an amount of water. This amount of water, if you can imagine here, is the amount of water that remains in G5. Okay, in G5, so you have uh, T minus three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in G5 remains T, this is the total, the G3 plus minus 3. 
Ok? Yes, ok. Ok, perfetto, nice. Now, let's go to the, this the second part. So, and this is the implementation for that. Is okay, t is g plus 3. If t is greater than 3, uh, the bottle of 3 is full with 3 gallons, and the bottle of 5, the new g5, is t minus 3. Okay, let's go to do the same with uh, this one. Um, here, Gabriela, write uh, 0, 3. Um, it's the same, exactly the same. Here we have two options. What happens now if I want to put the content, I'm going to copy this one. What happens if now I want to put uh, now the, change the situation here and he, now I want to pull to put all the content of bottle of G3 inside G5 I have two situations first one um, it's possible to put all the water of G3 plus G5 is T is G3 plus G5 is T is uh, less or equal than 5. In this case what happened? This bottle is empty and here remains T. And the second option is what happened? Sorry. What happened? This is an T is G3 plus G5. And what happened if T is great than 5? I can do the same the same abstractions like okay, let's go to think what happened if I can extend the bottle of I can extend this bottle. If I can extend this bottle, um, the total will be, for example, for here. Total will be here. And what is the amount of water remains in G3? Can you tell me what is the amount yeah, of water? Is uh, G3 uh, plus G5 minus 5. Exactly, it's t minus 5. The amount of, one of water that remains here is t minus 5. Okay? So, let's go to implement that. So, here are two options the same, the same here. If 6.1 is g3 plus g4. Uh, G5 plus G3 is less of equal than 5 or the other option is G3 plus G5 are greater than 5. The most simple case, this one, uh, let's go to put here. In this case, here we will have G5. And here G3, sorry, G3, and what is I it, sorry? I made a mistake with the name, it's put G3 in... Uh... G3, yeah, exactly, G3 in G5, nice. What is the result? What is the result? When, when T is G3 plus G5 and T is less or equal equal less than 5. What is the result in this case when T is less of equal than 5? Tell me, what is the result? T, Sorry? T, it's T and 0. T 
t exactly t and zero okay second part uh, i'm going to copy that ta, ta, ta. second part what happened if t is greater than five what happened if t is, is greater than five in this case what is the solution i need a new variable it's on g32 that's is t minus 5 so uh, if, if so in this case 5 will be what 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 will be the solution here what will be the solution here Sorry? Five. Five and? And G32. Okay, nice. Perfect. So, now we have, we have an initial state. We know what is the final state. Now let's go to create a path to the solution. Let's go to create a path to the solution. Here, I have to explain you like idea of uh, how, how we are going to create a path to the solution so we need an initial state a state and a final state we need a way to make movements to go from here, from here, pa, 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 I have to do some movements to go to the final state. This is my, this is my um, goal to reach. So yeah, a movement here, ta, ta, ta. It will go to another state. Uh, here another state, ta, 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 another movement will reach another another state and so on until reach the final state. Okay, do you have an idea? Is let's go to make movements, movements to go from initial state that when I do a movement with a new state to create new state and after many movements I can reach the final state this is the way to how to create a path from the initial state um, and for that let's go to create to use the induction the idea of induction let's go to create a path what is the minimum the minimum uh, path possible path to 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 go from path from initial state state uh, to final state and uh, here we will we, we'll have the path um, and here I have to include a new variable that's visited now I'm going to explain to you what means that visited variable what variable means so this is an initial state is a input variable find the input variable visited is an input and path is the output and that is true but it is true if path unify with a list of movements uh, to go uh, uh, that we need we need to go from initial state to final state 
without visiting um, or without visiting without sorry repeat uh, a state in visited states okay so the idea is okay let's go to create a new predicate let's go to call to this predicate path to go from initial state to final state and this variable visited that can help us to don't repeat a state in the in this path okay and when that is true here we will have a list of movements in this way at least as we see here the solution will be a list of movements uh, i don't know where i write it ah this way okay this that will be the solution something similar to this one that something similar uh, path will be something similar to this one okay Okay, why we need this list of visited? Think about, think about the situation. We have two bottles of water, and we, I, I put the water here inside this bottle, and then I empty the G5, and then I put water here, I put here, I empty, and repeat always this situation. It's like an, a stupid. A loop of actions so I don't I the thing I don't like to repeat is the same picture of the problem I can have the same picture of the problem the same image two times okay this is why we need this val this list of uh, states of visited states because I don't like to repeat states visited visited is a list of states visited states okay so i don't i don't like to repeat this state this this state i i have in this list so we need to put inside this list what is the the state i visited before okay so let's go to finish this exercise path please help me to resolve that give me the initial state for this problem state zero zero, zero, zero. perfect zero zero nice uh what is the final state four zero uh, uh, four sorry four whatever something okay okay that's a matter that's a matter is is more easy if i don't and uh, no don't put here any restriction that's a matter i need four liters here or four gallons here that's a matter what is the content here okay what is the state the list of states at the beginning what is the list of visited states when uh, i start zero empty empty, empty, empty. list uh, i have two options i can uh, put empty list of a state zero zero is that the first state i visited okay it works in both cases okay with uh if you want to put empty list is perfect i don't visit it nothing i can't um do this as abstraction okay i don't visit it nothing at this point or i can say okay I visited the uh, initial state. Let's go to to put here, okay? Only this state, whatever you want. In both cases, that works. And um, what is the list um, of movements? Uh, oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go to. Okay, this is the general case um let's go to leave this variable to the end 
after th after that the final the path let's go to lift to the end as always now i need to make a movement from go to from in Italy state let's go to put that more in more general way okay it's not let's go to call not um zero zero let's go to call that in Italy state okay let's go to do that in, mo in more general way after that let's go to use and final state okay I'm here let's go to put empty links in this case because here or initial state if you want initial state is the same okay now I have to move make a movement from initial state to a new state so here let's go to do movement this is the name of the movement wherever that movement that is possible from initial state state to a new state okay this is the idea let's go to make a movement try to make a movement um, from initial state to new state. Now, let's go to check uh, that that new state are not already visited. So sorry, I had to change that. Let's go to put in more general way, like visited. Let's go to live in this way, okay? Initial state, final state, and visited. I have to check that the new state is not visited. For that, I use the the predicate member member and that means it's not is the the not predicate is the contrary or of this let's go to check that new state new state is not invisited okay that is very important otherwise we will uh, go in inside a loop an infinite loop doing the all with the same movement so it's very important to to check that the new state are not in the list of visited okay and the final part uh, here we have the induction let's go to find a path from the new state to the end to the final state sorry prof i don't understand the backslash this one? Yeah. This is uh, the, the way to say to Prolog that is not, not uh, okay. member. Okay, thanks. Not member, okay? Remember, that is equal to not member. Uh, is equal to not, okay? Okay, thanks. And now, uh, but to the final state, Okay, and what to happen when that is true, here I will have a path. And what happened with the visited? This is a list of visited state. I have to add, after that, after, after make this new movement and check this movement is not in the list of visited states. Okay. After that, I have to make this new path from the new state and make an, um, a movement that that path is one movement near to the final. And what I have to do with visited? I have to uh, add visited uh, what the new state. And visit it okay I visited a new state I had to put this state here okay now the question if that is true if I have here if in path I have the path from new state to final state what I have to do with this path to get all the, the path from the initial state to final state. What I have to do here? 
Remember that path is a list of movements. What I have to put here in the path of uh, from initial state to final state? What do you think? Any idea? This is the path from the new state to the final state. But I want the path from initial state to final. What I what what I have to do? What to add here to this path? State. Sorry? Initial state? No, this is a list of movements, not this is not a list of a state is a lead of movements. What is the movement I I I, di I did here? This movement. This is the name of the movement. So I I had the difference between that path and, and that path is only this movement. So I have to add the movement here. Okay. Okay. The the difference between that path is the path is, is a list of movements. The only difference is I have to put this movement at the beginning because it's the movement I did to change from initial state to the new state. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, the most simple case. For that, what will be the N0 case for this path? What's the more simple case? The most simple case for us will be, for example, if initial state and final state are the same. If initial state is whatever, sorry, for whatever, and the final state, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's go. To, we have to put in general, in general, not in. in um, sorry. Uh, if in it or uh, final, final state, final state. If the beginning on at the beginning of the state of the path and the final are the same. If a starting point at the end point are the same. What is the path? Which movement I have to do? If I am now at the final state, initial state and final state are the same. What is the list of movement I have to do? Uh, nothing. Yeah, empty list. An empty list of movement. I have to do nothing because if I want to go to Huelva and if I am in Huelva, so I have to do nothing. And what happened with the with the visited doesn't matter because we finish the path and doesn't matter what is the visited because now I finish. We don't. I have not the possibility to to go to a, um, a loop here because I I am at, at the end point at the end point. Okay, so doesn't matter what is the the visit it now okay nice perfect yeah we have the solution for this problem um, let's go to check file I'm gonna share with you uh, save us this is a uh, state problem uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna share this file for you if you want to check with me. Um, here. Okay. Probably let's go to check before if we have some error here. state problem 
Okay, I have two warnings. Let's go to check line 120, 123, 123, um, say uh, G32. Let's go to check one, G32, why? G32, ah, because I make a mistake here, I, I write a dot. Please, in your file, you have to correct this. I put, I make a mistake here and put a dot instead a comma. Okay, now make um, let me check again. Sometimes when you have some errors, it's better to um, to close the prolog and start again. Say problems. Okay, no error now. Listing movements. Let's go to check the movements. I have here all the movement. Listing the path. Here I have the path with the the first more simple case and the case with this movement and building the path putting the movement at the beginning. Okay, what is the, how we can check if that works? We have to create a path from a, a state. What is the initial state for us? Zero, zero. What is our final state? For whatever. For, doesn't matter. Perfect. And what is the starting visited? Empty list, for example, and give me the path. Here we have the solution. Let's go to write if if the we can see the full list of the full list of um, solution of elements here. I have to write write the path. It's a way to to have the full list full content of the list. So this is the, the the list of movements we need to obtain the solution. Let's go to check if you want. This is the list, list of movements to obtain the solution. So let's go to take a look here and check if that works. So, uh, the, the solution is, let's go to, uh, let me one second, let's go to copy here, and copy that here, and remove that, ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, nice. Nice. So, let's go to check if that works. First, fill G5. So here we have, let's go to put here, 5. Fill uh, G5. We have 5 liters here. Fill G3. We have 3 gallons here. Empty G5. Okay, I have zero here. Put G3 in G5. So here we have zero and here we have three, no? Yes or not? Yes. 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 Okay, now fill G3 again, three liters here. Put G3 in G5. If we put G3 in G5, here we will have 5, and here, because before we have 3, put G3 in G5, we, we will have here um, 5, so here remains 2 liters to the, to the top, here 5, and here, 
Okay. Next, MTG5. Zero. Put G3, G5. So here, one liter against zero. G3 and G5. Fill G3. Three. And put G3 in G5. For zero. And as you know, it's okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is a way to resolve these uh, state, state problems um, games or okay this is the idea to describe the state the first one describe the state second part defi define initial state and final state initial state and final state uh, state the goal Defeat, define the movements and the last part is uh, write the path or create and five create a path to the solution okay nice any question I'm gonna share this file for you if you want to check at home any question okay do you have any question no for me it's okay it's okay okay nice okay nice have a good rest of the week and a, a good weekend see you next week Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank See you. you. See you. Bye. Bye.